Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is, Observer Design Pattern. Let's get right to it. We use the Globals Helper class to access frequently used game properties easily. The Input Manager provides the keyboard controls. Then we have a Base Sprite class to draw a texture and get its bounding rectangle. A hero that moves around and collects gems. And the Game Manager to bind everything together and help with testing. Let's take a look at what we have as our starting point. We control the hero and try to collect all the gems. We can restart by pressing the spacebar at any time. What if we wanted to add more features around the gems? Like showing how many we have. Play a sound effect. Add magical gates that open when we have enough gems. Implement an achievement system for collecting 100 gems. We can see that putting all the code here would quickly clutter the class. That makes the code hard to maintain and difficult to expand. It is also not the hero class's responsibility. Here comes the observer pattern to the rescue. It divides the responsibilities between the subject and its observers. Our hero will be the subject. And all other features will become observers. The traditional implementation consists of two interfaces. One interface for the subject that can add or remove observers. And a method to notify them about a change. A concrete subject could look like this. It has a list of its observers and methods to handle it. Whenever the message is changed, the subject notifies the observers. The other interface is for the observer with only one method. It updates the observer when the message comes. But instead of that, I would like to show you another approach. We define a method delegate and add an event with that delegate type. When changing the gems property, the event will invoke. The observers can now easily attach to this event. Let's create the first observer, the UI that shows the current gem count. It has a font, a position, and a counter. We need a method that matches the delegate signature and attach it to the event inside the constructor. We draw the string with a value. Let's test it using the game manager. The counter shows how many gems the hero collected. Perfect. We add a sound effect next. Again, all we need is a method to pass as a delegate and attach it to the event. Let's hear it. Good, that was quick and easy. Let's do one more example. A gate that will open once the hero collects enough gems. The constructor sets the needed amount. When the gate opens, it detaches from the event. Let's create a few of the gates and test them. Great! Let me know how you liked this episode. You can find the code in the description. Have a topic you would like to see next? Please, share it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.